Here we have a beautiful black forest uh, cuckoo and quail that was made by Johann Baptist Biha. And this is a variation on the model 671, which is one of his heaviest carved uh, wall examples. And you can see the detail work in the carving is just exquisite. The vines twist and wrap, and the detail in the vines, the doors, the pediment. So it's a very original clock. The pendulum is uh, extra nice as well. It's just a beautiful biha. So this is a model 671. <clears throat> if we look in the Biha catalog, you can see uh, there he is right there. Uh, but our example is a little different. Uh, it follows the basic design. But you can see in the catalog, there's no birds incorporated in the carving. It's just all leaves, vines, and berries. Where our example here uh, has a bird here in the left corner. There's another bird incorporated up into the pediment. Just a little extra, extra special there with those two birds. The clock has a wood plate movement. And it's been fully overhauled. It's a beautiful clock. But we want to set it off so you can see it in action. It's a quarter hour clock. So we'll open up the doors here manually. The quail, which can be seen right here, uh, calls the quarters. You see it's one of the most beautiful birds that we've seen in any biha. The paint is absolutely original and untouched. It has virtually no loss. The hours are, are called with the cuckoo. And just like the quail, it's a magnificent beehaw bird. It's a very original clock. Uh, we'll set it off here so you can see it in action. So 15 after, you get one quail call. So it signifies uh, the quarter. Half an hour will be two quails. Uh, three quarters after, we have three quails. And then at six o'clock, we'll have the four quarters called with the quail. And then the cuckoo will call uh, the six hours. Has its original gongs as well, uh, original bellows, the pipes. So it's just a magnificent uh, black forest cuckoo and quail made by Johann Baptist Biha. Again, this clock was made in the mid-1860s. It has an original Biha label on the backboard uh, with the model number penciled on the label. And uh, with that label is how we effectively can date this clock. For more information on rare and unusual black forest clocks, you can check out our website at blackforestclocks.org. We're always interested in purchasing a high quality rare black forest clocks. So if you have anything that you think would be of interest, you can contact us through our website.